Hello, how are you? My name is Cliff Hagen. I am president of Protectors of Pine Oak Woods, and I am excited to be sharing with you tonight an owl prowl in celebration of National Moth Week. We are here in the woods of Staten Island with the intention of enticing some owls to come out, spend some time with us to, to call and maybe show themselves. And we are in the woods. I am going to imitate the call of a couple of different owls and hopefully we get to hear a response. So the, the owls of Staten Island include a uh, barn owl and short-eared and long-eared owl, occasionally a snowy owl. Uh, but tonight we are going to be in search of a screech owl and great horned owl. On Staten Island, we probably have six different pair of great horned owl nesting across the islands from north to south shore. And in nearly every park on Staten Island, we have screech owls. So I am excited to be out in search of some screech owls tonight. A nice moth here. A moth night. Not sure what that is. It is a moth. There are thousands of species of moth here on Staten Island, and I'm not going to pretend to know what they are. But... These two species of owls that I could help you with. So we're going to walk through the woods here a little bit. I am going to call out to the owls. I imitate their calls. And a lot of times the owls will respond with their own call and occasionally fly in to get a look at what's going on. I do not pretend to know their motivation. I'm not sure if they're curious or angry, if they're territorial, maybe they're romantic. Though this is not the time of the year for romance in the world of owls. You never do know what their motivation is, but I do know that when I call, they tend to respond if they hear me, right? So owls are acoustic hunters. It's dark, very dark out here tonight. You certainly cannot rely on your sense of sight. You need to have terrific uh, acoustic abilities, and that the owls do. So I am going to call, and if there is an owl nearby, it will hear me call and hopefully it will respond. Uh, so uh, we learned growing up, owls uh, hoot, right? One of the first things we learned as a kid, cows moo, dogs bark, owls hoot. Uh, it's not necessarily true. The great horned owl does hoot. Screech owl whistles. Most owls whistle and bark and whine and screech. Uh, the barn owl even screams bloody murder, but we are in search of screech owls, and screech owls tend to whistle. They have a little bit of a, a whiny whistle, and we're going to give that a shot. So, was quite an insect. So generally on my owl prowls I walk along and every once in a while we'll stop and call the owls because again they, they need to hear my call in order for them to respond. So I need to get close enough to where they are uh, they're flying around now. Uh, they're out in search of breakfast, looking for a mouse or a shrew, something good to eat, maybe a luna moth. Uh, so they're busy. Screech owls are throughout this park, just like you would see uh, blue jays flying through your neighborhood making a racket. Uh, so too the screech owls are flying through the woods right now, though they are silent. All right? 
we do know that their wings do not produce noise as they glide through the air. They really rely on their ability to hear their prey scurrying around in a leaf litter. So they try not to make any noise unless they're calling on purpose. And that's what we're trying to do. We're trying to uh, encourage them to call and maybe, maybe come out and visit with us. It's a beautiful night. I hear some distant fireworks, I hear a truck, but I do not hear any owls yet. I will try the other call, the great horned owl. Um, quick little story. You probably have heard the legend of Sleepy Hollow, right? the headless horseman, uh, written by Washington Irving. He was a Staten Islander. He lived on Staten Island, and there really is a gravestone in the uh, Ashbury church on Richmond Avenue. It really is a gravestone for a man named Ichabod Crane. And <clears throat> it's a terrific story. Um, Washington Irving must have been a naturalist. He wrote about the birds and nature, the trees and the hillsides, as if he knew, as if he really felt it in his soul what it was to be in nature. Uh, but he got a few things wrong, <laughs> if you read carefully, uh, through the legend of Sleepy Hollow. Uh, Washington Irvin talks about the dreary hoot of a screech owl. Uh, screech owls don't hoot. They're certainly not a dreary hoot. They whistle. He also talks about martins and swallows flying in and out of barns. Um, martins do not nest in barns. Swallows do, but martins do not. So, as brilliant as the man must have been, is a terrifically well-written piece of literature. A uh, few inappropriate passages uh, for its time. It was great. Uh, like I said, some of those passages now are quite inappropriate. Nevertheless, uh, the literature still stands um, <clears throat> as a terrific piece of craft. Uh, so, the screech owl does not hoot, but the great horned owl does. And I am now going to try to entice a great horned owl to call. I do though they nested in these woods this spring, this uh, late winter, early spring, so maybe we could get them to call. This is what they sound like. <coughs> Just wait for a response now. So, believe it or not, at Christmas time, or at New Year's Eve, the great horned owls begin their courtship. Uh, by the end of January, they lay in their eggs, they sit on their eggs through February, they hatch, and by April, those young birds are nearly ready to fledge, nearly ready to come out and fly on their own. So this time, those birds are now uh, three or four months old. They're out on their own, flying through the woods. <clears throat> I'm going to call them again. Right, the great horned owl does a hoot. That's the one that hoots. I'm not seeing any bats tonight. That's a disappointment. Oh, it is a little dark now. Nor are we hearing any owls. I'm going to give Screech Owl another chance.
cricket. But no owl. Give it another call. It is always my experience that if there is an owl nearby, they respond. Ah, terrific tulip tree. Look at the size of these leaves. Amazing how large that leaf is. I think I just saw a moth fly in on that. Rest assured, the owls are here. I'm uh, quite surprised they're not responding. They must be busy tonight. Maybe they're still in shock from all of the 4th of July fireworks. Still reeling in their nest, in their cavities. <clears throat> it's quite dark now. Deep in the woods, quite a few moths floating around the screen. <clears throat> Wish there was some owls flitting around the screen. Again, that's the great horned owl.
amazed that I am hearing more fireworks. You would think everything was let off the last few days. Folks are still playing with dangerous fireworks. So maybe that explains why the owls are not out cooperating with us tonight. We'll try a little bit further, because you never know. I just got quiet because I think I heard in the distance a screech owl. Let's see if we could get it to come in closer. I am terribly disappointed here this evening that I have not been able to share with you owls. Uh, but any time outdoors is better than time on the couch, better than time inside. It's great to get outdoors, spend time outdoors, in particular at night. It's very quiet, usually quiet, relaxing, peaceful. Uh, it's a tranquil evening, if not for the fireworks. Give it one last chance here. One last call. seems like we are unlucky this evening. I do invite you to join my other owl prowls. I've been doing virtual owl prowls on Facebook, uh, Protectors of Pine Oak Woods. You can find us there. And I uh, hope you enjoy further celebration of 
National Moth Week here on Staten Island with the Staten Island Museum. Again, I'm Cliff Hagen, President of Protectors of Pine Oak Woods, and I thank you for joining me this evening here out in the woods of Staten Island in search of owls. Have a great night.